If you don't mind a little bit of dust, rotor wash can offer some brief relief from the sweltering heat in southern Nevada during the summertime. A better solution is to fly above the Mars-like landscape on the skid of a helicopter, especially on days when the ground temperature reaches 110 degrees. The region's harsh climate was just one of many challenges Sturgeon Electric's power line construction division dealt with during the Harry Allen Eldorado project. The 60-mile 500 kV line runs from the El Dorado substation in Clark County, Nevada, along a very crowded corridor adjacent to Las Vegas, up to the Harry Allen substation located north of the city. Desert Link LLC and LS Power Company hired Sturgeon Electric to construct the circuit to provide a new link between Nevada's transmission network and California's energy grid. In addition to assembling, erecting, and setting 42 miles of steel towers, Sturgeon Electric constructed all roads, pads, and landings leading to the structures. 1,500 foot ruling spans, our towers are big, they're heavy. Sturgeon Electric construction manager Alex Phillips was involved with the project two years before it started. From the beginning, he was concerned about induction, the electric effect that can cause an otherwise de-energized conductor to build up a dangerous charge due to its close proximity to other live lines. We parallel adjacent 500s, 345, 230s, over, under, one side or the other, or both. It's a busy corridor. The amount of static-induced induction occurring at any given moment is sometimes hard to predict. The wind direction can change it, the sun position can change it. You can go from zero volts of induction one minute to 10,000 volts within the blink of an eye. On top of that, the dry desert dirt, while easy to drive on, is not the greatest when it comes to grounding lines and equipment. A project-specific safety plan was developed which took everything into consideration. The soil, the terrain, the wind, the wire, tower types, crossings, you name it. Step-touch meters were used to bolster grounding capabilities. EPZ zones set up around each wire pull site were routinely inspected by MYR group safety professionals to provide maximum protection for line workers and equipment operators. A number of sites located in steep terrain were difficult to access by crane or bucket truck. That's why helicopters played a big part during the project. To hang travelers, or to install spacers. Sturgeon crews also used implosive splicing methods to fuse long sections of conductor together. The split-second detonations can momentarily raise a person's heart rate. They also can produce some dramatic still images. The entire project is located within desert tortoise country. To ensure their safety, roughly 60 environmental monitors were assigned to the project to perform vehicle inspections, to escort crews and equipment on and off the right-of-way, and to conduct foot patrols around the construction zone. Sturgeon Electric handed out cash rewards to any worker who spotted and reported a tortoise. So it was a great incentive program. Um, Sturgeon has paid out over $5,000 on this program, so that means a lot of people are looking, and that, that was a, a goal at the start. 533 observations were recorded and 73 animals were successfully moved out of harm's way. Sturgeon's stewardship of the land also included protecting some specific plant species. Prickly pear cactus and other desert flora were moved to several nurseries for safekeeping until they could be transported back onto the right of way during the restoration phase. The recent push to upgrade California's electrical infrastructure has reduced the pool of veteran line workers available for work in other states. 
As a result, there was a high number of apprentices on the project who needed to be brought up to speed in a short amount of time. It's a very difficult, complex project and I'm really impressed with how our supervision and management was able to bring these new people together and be able to get get this project done successfully. We've had our challenges, but you know the team here has come at those unified and, and been able to combat those, and I think we've worked safely, efficiently, and effectively, even given the things that we've encountered.